it's a bit warmer today than yesterday. That is mainly to do with the fact that I'm in Villa, Villa Mora in Portugal. Last minute flight, Christmas present off my mum and dad. Um, but don't worry, I've got plenty of footage, plenty of tractors and machinery. And also you can see what we were doing when we went to visit Cheshire Farm Machinery. So here's what we went to pick up and a little bit more of a tour around the yard. So obviously we came to Cheshire Farm Machinery the other day and this is what we came for. Da, 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 da. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> you can't actually tell at the minute. There we go. It's a white Lamborghini. How can you lose a white Lamborghini with two good looking chicks out in the middle of nowhere? What is this? The quiz? We lost them, okay? What a beast. I don't like it. I've just banged my funny bone on the diesel cap. It's not nice. Why is broad? They cannot run the radio. And they're off. Have a quick whiz round in the shop. Those are different paints. Some Kubota mowers, log splitters. It's a monster that. Um, even water pipe fittings and blue. So I think it was these these little diggers here. 12 grand with a, was it three or four year warranty, which is, I think really good value for money. You can't buy a second hand one for that. Um, pins, parts for your tankers, nail spikes, a black pedal tractor, PTO shafts, models. It's a beast, isn't it? Is that a knapsack on wheels? Isn't it? Quite handy. Cotton discs, straps, lighting boards. Ooh, we've even got a black dump trailer. Right, we'll go outside because there's even more kit outside. Weight blocks. Now, I'm going to spoil Tom Pemberton's day here. They got these brushes in and they're they're not, they're not old stock, but they've been in stock bought at a good price. 1,650 quid, I think Tom paid about three or 400 quid more because his was a, like a new stock, but obviously this, they are brand new, they've never been used. A Vicon mower. And then obviously you've got a selection of Kubota tractors. I think these are made. No, they're not, I'm making this up. I thought they were made in France, I don't think they are. Someone might know, someone can correct me where they're made. Oh, the bendy manatee. I've seen one of them before. Well, a new one, if you will. Looks like it's getting a headstock conversion. Someone's probably bought that, but they want a different headstock on it. So this is like, in fact, that's a JCB headstock on the front of that one, not a manatee headstock. And obviously that's getting some sort of headstock fitted to it. So that will pick up JCB buckets. That'll pick up nothing at the moment. So the doits, little ones, medium ones, some bigger ones. Just realise that light's on, it's going dark, and it's only it's only half three. Uh, another plough here. Now, nice shiny plough. What you want that for? I don't know. Just to, I do like winding up you ploughmen. Uh, bike on baler. Got loads of diggers in. Bit expected a gold rushing digging things. Yeah, there's a brand new Brogan or Brogan or Brohan trailer, same as what Simon picks chip up from us. And then got a low loader in a good metal grey sprung draw bar. That's a good idea. It's got a well in the middle for putting straps in. Nice big chain eyes, nice fat tyres, top links to adjust the ramp so that they, they don't wriggle but you can also wind them on a bit of an angle LED lights on the back including work lights it's good isn't it 
It's not a wedge though. Ours has a bail wedge, obviously, that flicks up and down. And to be fair, that looks quite steep. I know you can get a digger up anything, but just just when you've got something like low, as it comes over, might be a bit harsh. I think they can make them however you want. I don't know. Um, is that a 20 ton dump trailer? It's quite, quite yeah, 20. Quite long and low. Um, good for loading with a digger not massively deep it's like a used muck spreader here uh, tedder new tedder second hand tedder so yeah there's a there's a new bucket that looks like it's on jcb attachments as well so the hooks go in and the pin goes across and a little baby teagle spreader there so yeah quite a bit of stuff here really but while i'm here i'll show you some machinery everyone likes machinery especially me uh, so if you all watch my channel because you like machinery, you've just seen around Cheshire farm machinery. That sounds like a, a poet and I don't know it. Anyway, we're going to hit the road now before it goes dark, get back to the yard and do something. It's a lot warmer today than it was when I filmed that at Cheshire Machinery. Anyway, did anyone notice the hidden lyrics within that video? And if you did, what's it out of? Let me know in the comments. Anyway, we're going to have a better look tomorrow at the Lamborghini because I've done a sort of a detailed review before I got on a plane to here. Yesterday's video whisked up a bit of a stir with Sainsbury's and on TikTok it's been watched at this time now 520,000 times. Anyway, I'm gonna actually upload the short bit I put on TikTok. I can't put it on a YouTube short, but I'm gonna put it on a video just so that everyone can see that because it's a bit of like a watered down version of what was in yesterday's video that some of you might have seen. So I'm gonna leave it up there so hopefully Sainsbury's will see it and then the others. And um, maybe some of them might start to support farmers a bit better because that's where they've got to get everything from some sort of a race on a couple of these things going out what are they like they're not yachts are they what would you call them yeah. sailboats someone will know that's watching they're going into the wind aren't they so they have to keep going in a diagonal i think it's been a minute they have to flip the sail either way Apparently, after we saw the black rims on the Bateman, that guy decided to paint his boat black. Wonder is that one owned by the same guy that has the tractor puller Brutus? Looks expensive. How much do you think that'd be? Million? Two? Three million? Good name for a boat. Next to it is a uh, Kev. Can't find Karen. No, whether it's real or fake. It's massive, though, isn't it? Is that an extra for scale? <laughs> I've had an idea. Got a marker pen. It's a big white yacht down there. Could do the birthday bumper on it. The wheat here looks a bit funny. It's like that fake wheat on the top of the LinkedIn buildings, remember that the other week? There's an old girl. Face mask, isn't it? Joe Seals' his favourite restaurant. Just walking now on this unspoiled sand. It's at Val de Lobo. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's where Wardy goes to Maria's for something to eat. Uh, that is probably about it for today. Don't don't worry though, you'll find out why we've got a Lamborghini tomorrow. So thanks for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh yeah, nearly forget. Don't forget the Real Country File is out as well tonight. So I'll put a link below this video so you can watch that as well. Because this has only been a short one today.